forward line in place of Kevin Brady. As expected, Kerry have left Colin Cooper and Tomas O'Shea out of their team. Dunica Walsh has also been omitted. Killian Young, Ty Kennelly and Darren O'Sullivan have been brought in by manager Jack O'Connor. Here's Ty Kennelly. Darren O'Sullivan out in front of O'Boyle is just back on the park. Tommy Walsh and Kennelly is free. Ty Kennelly turns back now. Walsh again. Great goal. Fabulous goal for Kerry, and that should settle them down. And a real growl of defiance on the face of Tommy Walsh. It's only Kerry's second goal in the championship in 2009, and it was classic Kerry football. Nobody panicked here. It was cool heads all the way. And the coolest of all was Tommy Walsh. Paul Galvin. Declan O'Sullivan surging out of that corner and Sullivan sends it through to Darren O'Sullivan looking for another goal really good save and look at Tommy Walsh Walsh was in there loitering and Antrim one goal and a point to a point behind they could have been further in arrears but for this save from John Finucane Mike McCarthy Darrow Shea Tommy Walsh over to Darren O'Sullivan who has started very promisingly here's Paul Galvin they back off Galvin he's gone in low very low to O'Sullivan and the point for Kerry Declan O'Sullivan when he spun around there it's fair to say I think he wanted a goal here absolutely drilled it chance for Antrim they need a score and it's a point for Tomas McCann, the left corner forward. He was quickest to react here. Blocked out by McCarthy. And McCann slots it over. Their first score in 13 minutes, Antrim. Here and close lets it off to James Lockery. To his right is Tony Scully and the right half back, and Lockery's still going. Sean O'Sullivan there with him, and look at Scully, and he's got through. Scully in for Antrim, goal! A goal for Antrim in the 19th minute here in Tullamore, and it's Tony Scully in who's got it. And they've drawn level, the side's level for a second time, and just when Kerry seemed to be getting into top gear, well, the two wing-backs combine here, James Lockery. You can't see Scullion in your picture, now you can. He just snuck forward and nobody went with him. Galvin tried to get back, Murphy tried to stop him. A lovely goal from Tony Scullion. Very brave, Tomas McCann has scored one point in this match already. Niall McKeever makes the angle for him to get the fist pass away. Paddy Cunningham with Tom O'Sullivan, it's going to be a great duel between the two of them, and Cunningham has slotted that one over, he's had three wides in the game so far, but Paddy Cunningham gets his first from play, two in all, and Antrim are now in front, 1-3 to 1-2 in the 23rd minute, and normally Antrim wouldn't be given a chance of beating Kerry, but here they are, leading by 1-3 to 1-2, and we've five minutes to half-time, Cunningham and Niblock, Michael McCann, James Lockery is free, goal chance again, and Murphy with the stop. And Lockery hit it well, just too close to the goalkeeper. Seamus Scanlon. Darren O'Sullivan, brilliant turn from O'Sullivan. Douglas just left for dead, and now Darren O'Sullivan drills through. Here's Kennelly, Cooper is free. Have they spotted him? Here's Tommy Walsh, and Walsh didn't have to hit that particularly hard and he brings Kerry level the sides level for the third time here in Tullamore that's their first point in 17 minutes a goal and a point for Tommy Walsh Antrim's turn to go through a long period that was thrown there was no clenched fist from no man, you can see clearly the referee giving the decision against Aidan O'Mahony. Just flipped forward and Antrim on again. Goal opportunities for them, but they take the point. 
from Kieran Close. Quick thinking from Antrim. Doing it at pace, Cunningham. Kerry were expecting him to pop it over the bar. Kieran Close did it, and Antrim go in front by 1-4 to 1-3. Now it's Tomas McCann. McCann driving straight down the middle. The Kerry defenders come towards it. McCarthy just nudged out of the way, and McCann loves that one, and it's sailed over. And they now lead by two. The first point of the second half is Antrim's. So Jack O'Connor has reversed the three late changes he made just before the throw in. Here come Kerry with Mike McCarthy, and McCarthy was fouled. Terry O'Neill, remember, on a yellow card already. given Callum Cooper has got one already and that is an easy free for a taker of his calibre and Antrim can't get the ball from their own kick out here's Mike McCarthy again Scully in there but McCarthy's still going Here's Paul Galvin, this to put them two clear, and the roar from the Kerry fans tells you it's gone over. White flag confirms it, and Galvin gets his first point. It's now four in a row for Kerry, and they're starting to turn it on in Tullamore. McCann teasing Tommy Griffith. McCann now with Dar O'Shea, and O'Shea just put out that right hand and pulled back the jersey of the Antrim man. And Antrim now have the opportunity to draw level again. And Antrim just will not go away, and McCann has brought them level. The sides now tied up in this game a total of five times. And members of the Antrim backroom team down on the line, gesturing to the crowd behind them, the Antrim fans to raise the noise again. Here's Tomas O'Shea. He has a point to prove to his manager. Tomas O'Shea, it's led off to Galvin. Goal chance here! A save and it's put into the back of the net and it's Paul Galvin. He did it last week against Sligo and Galvin has popped up again and is that the decisive moment in this game? Nine minutes remaining. They were trying to walk it into the back of the net. Galvin involved initially, then Dunica Walsh and Galvin the quickest to react. Kerry have their second goal and they lead by three and time running out for Antrim. Michael McCann going for three in a row, and he's got that one, and they're back to within two again. They won't give up. Darrow Shea. Declan O'Sullivan. Dunica Walsh coming out towards him. O'Sullivan holding it up well, and now playing it in long to Tommy Walsh. Paul O'Connor. Walsh again. Walsh for Kerry, and that's a great point. Initially, there was some lovely play from Declan O'Sullivan, and Tommy Walsh puts them three clear again. Two minutes to be added on. At the end of the 70, here's Dara O'Shea. Dunica Walsh. Colin Cooper waits for Paul Galvin, and Galvin bursts through. Another goal chance for Galvin, but he does the sensible thing and takes the point with the left fist, and now it's five points clear, and Kerry are heading to the quarterfinals again. It's ten years since they went out of the championship in July, and they're going to be playing football in August at the very least. Scullion left that bounce, he'll get it back, though. Clever from Dunica Walsh, but he didn't get the reward his tackle deserved. Now Scully, and can they get a late goal? And Dear McMurphy with the save, and it's come off the upright. But Dear McMurphy pulled off a very fine save during the first half from James Lockery. That one was more straightforward, but he still had to stand up and do his stuff, which he did. And there is the whistle. Celebrations for Kerry after a turbulent week in the kingdom. Paul Galvin came up with the goods when his team and his county needed it most. Colin Cooper came back into the Kerry team four minutes from the end of the first half. He contributed with vital freeze at the start of the second. Antrim got level ten minutes from the end, but Kerry, thanks to Galvin, were able to push on. They're into the draw for the All-Ireland quarterfinals. It is finished here in Tullamore. Kerry 2-12.